Deria Tobert with you, reporting live with Texas Metro News. Eva Coleman behind the scenes. Listen, guys, we're here live at the Parter's house, getting ready to experience a lifetime feature, Tony Braxton. That's right, Faith Under Fire, that's going to be seen January the 27th on Lifetime. Here live on the red carpet, getting ready to view great, phenomenal people such as Antoinette Tuff, Bishop T.D. Jakes, who is the executive producer, Tony Braxton, Tamar Braxton, and many more that is going to be heading on and walking on the red carpet. Antoinette Tuff, you look very beautiful tonight. you mind telling me what you're wearing tonight? Antoinette Tuff special. <laughs> <laughs> you look gorgeous. And um, congratulations. want to say, how did you come about with this project? It was really God. It wasn't anything that I did. It was all about ordained by him and what he wanted me to do in my life. So I can't say that it was just actually thrown at me because it was thrown. Wow. So what do you want people to learn from your experience? To be able to know that at the end of the day, no matter what you're going through in life, we all have a purpose in life. And make sure you allow God to show you what that purpose is. Amen. Amen. One last question. In your book, you talk about how your faith in God helped you guide you through the day. Do you still feel that same way? Oh, most definitely. I was afraid and scared, and so I know that that day allowed me to be able to be where I am today, which is changing lives and saving souls for the kingdom, and making sure that I make a difference with my mentoring program and my kids on the move for success. We're changing lives today. We are. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Hello. How are you? Bishop Jates and Ms. Jates, how did you become a part of the project? Well, we actually got the rights uh, to the story from the book that was written. was fascinated about Antoinette Tuff. Uh, we pitched it to Lifetime. They were interested in partnering with us, and uh, we were able to put the project together. Awesome. Now, how was it working with Antoinette? Oh, Antoinette's amazing. She's an incredible person. And she's also been a member of our church for the last couple of years, so I really got to know her really well. Uh, she's an extraordinary person who is just as strong in real life as you will see in the movie. Awesome. And Ms. Jakes, what do you want and what do you hope that people would take from this movie? I think that every message will bring courage and strength and empowerment to women. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a real pleasure. Hi. Tawana, Tamar, you look absolutely fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. How are you enjoying Dallas weather? Wow. <laughs> Lord Jesus. You know, we are in the house of the Lord. Tell the truth. Hallelujah. Yes, it's, it's quite, you cold. know, brick city. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bipolar, right? Yes. yes. Very cold. Okay. So tell us, um, what do you hope that the viewers gain from watching Faith Under Fire? I can't lie, I have not seen, and I really don't know that much <laughs> about it. And I didn't want to know a, a lot about it because I wanted to be able to watch her and then go back and do my research mm -hmm. about it because I didn't want to dig into my research and then judge her. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I'm saying? And so it's almost like reading the book and then like watching watch the, the movie. movie. Right. So I didn't yeah. want to do that because I just wanted to give her a fair chance <laughs> at killing it. And I know she's going to do that. Yeah, she's doing an amazing job. You know, Antoinette Tuff, she's, a, she's a such a wonderful lady and the story is very impressive. Helen, and I think that um, everyone that's going to watch it, they're going to really believe that God will always give you the spirit of protection because that's come what the movie now. is really about. Yes. And you come from a family of faith based. Yes. So yes. How proud of you are your sisters tonight? Absolutely. I am related. absolutely yes. proud. Actually, Bishop is actually my bishop. <laughs> yeah, I come, I come here at least, I try come at least once a month when I'm on tour. And so I really have a good time here, you know, and I really believe that he's a real true man of God. And uh, I definitely stand by everything that he does. So I can't wait to see it. Enjoy the show, ladies. You look absolutely beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you. Tony, 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 you looking absolutely <laughs> phenomenal <laughs> tonight. What do you have on? I have no idea what I have on. Or you are rocking it's it. Terrible. It fit. I got here a little late because my flight was delayed because of all the snow. Mm -hmm. So I said, this one fits, so we're going to put it on. I should know who it is, huh? It's okay. I should know. You, who is this by? Let's find out. We'll find out. <laughs> now, did you know, congratulations on your film. Um, now, did you know Antoinette um, prior to doing the film? I didn't know her, but I actually was watching the story on CNN. I was on the treadmill when it was kind of happening. I caught the tail end of it. And me being, you know, like from Atlanta, mm -hmm. I zoned into it immediately, and when I heard about the script, of course, and they asked me, were you interested? More than interested. I, I thought she, I think she's the bravest woman in the world. Awesome. Now, you know, this this film has a very strong theme with faith and God. Absolutely. Do, does either one of them play a part in your life? I mean, faith and God, they play an important part in my life. I'm a PK, I'm a preacher's kid. 
I grew up in the church. I'm from Maryland. Uh, we were apostolic. We became United Methodist. We were a little bit of everything. And I'm the oldest, so I, I think coming from that solid spiritual background helped me prepare for the role as well. Last question, what was the hardest part, the hardest scene to do in this film? Oh my God, the hardest scene was getting intimate and talking about her personal life when she felt suicidal. When she was thinking about crossing that street and thinking about just taking her own life because she was just fed up. She had lost faith. She was hopeless. And but just having the courage to walk through that fire again. Faith under fire has so many emotional roller coasters. I was trying to convince this person not only not to take my life, the kid's life and the faculty life, but his life. So it was a lot of emotional roller coasters going up and down. How do I get to this person? How do I, how do I identify? How do I have him get inside of me so he won't think about himself for killing those kids? It was a tough role, but Antoinette was there the first day of shooting and she helped just alleviate a lot of questions that I had. Awesome. Congratulations, looking forward to enjoying the show tonight. <laughs> Thank you very much, I'm excited. Thank you. They're going to go on a great ride. I want them to sit back and enjoy it because watch how God moves. We always plan something for our lives that is really like a shack, but God always rolls out the red carpet. So it's going to be a wonderful event for all of them. Sit back and watch God move. Live at the Party's House with Texas Metro News. I'm Daria Tobert, behind the scenes, Eva Coleman.